the formidable robot. Hello, this is Sedgwick, Sedgwick Williamsburg. I'm the international translator of the ARG files and a good friend of Thomas Arkford. In the international ARG files, we look at rather international ARGs or ARGs with international languages. Today, Thomas tasked me with looking into the ARG from SpongeBob SquarePants, the secret box. The ARG, made by Cyclone Stoveoven or Owen Wayne, the original ARG creator, was a psychological analog horror series detailing the question from SpongeBob. What would have happened if the box from the secret box was something more secretly sinister? It was answered when a series of VHS tapes were discovered and delivered in our facility. The tapes were marked with quotes from the episode. No SpongeBob. It's for me to know and for you to never find out. You may be an open book SpongeBob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Listen up SpongeBob Secret Stealer Pants. If you ever come near my secret box again, we won't be friends anymore. That's it SpongeBob. You have crossed the line. As of right now, this friendship is over. The quotes were from the episode, The Secret Box, which fit the theme of the ARG. But why did he put the quotes in? Why was the tape made, and did the creator purposefully make it multiple tapes? I had to learn more. I had to dig deeper into this cesspool of the ARG rabbit hole. Had to find out more, connect the pieces and find out more. It seemed risky, but I was bound to find out more about the ARG. Even if it means tech issues. Yeah, my VCR has been experiencing tech issues because the goddamn composite RCA cables were rusted due to a leak from a recent storm. 210 bucks and a new VCR and RCA cables later. One more attempt, and the tape loaded in. The first one started with the first clip. One of the quotes was from the first tape. No, SpongeBob! It's for me to know and for you to never find out! You may be an open book, SpongeBob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Oh yeah? Well, I got plenty of secret stuff too. Uh, I've got my secret socks on. <laughs> and my secret Gary's bowl! <laughs> my secret TV! And my secret TV channel! The colored bars on the screen flipped to a black screen, and then immediately to a message. It was in an alien language. Great. Luckily, Thomas linked me some generators and IMDB for the information. The translation is... Don't look inside the secret box. There's a reason why some secrets deserve to be hidden. Don't say I warned you. Then another message in the same alien language appears with the sound of static. I didn't bother translating the second one. The episode continued as normal until it showed a frame of Patrick and Spongebob with no faces. It kept flashing a frame of Patrick with a spiral on his body moving. The screen flashed the words run and save yourself. Then the frame explodes in static with Patrick screaming in a shrill high-pitched tone mixed in with flickering static. It reminds me of when Thomas looked at that other ARG that had SpongeBob do the exact same as Patrick's doing. Suddenly, the power cut off. Everyone in the facility came out and inspected the generator. I could faintly hear my British boss, Maximus Winston, say to the people. It looks like someone electrocuted the generator. It'll take weeks for the studio to get power back. Well, this is gonna be split in parts due to the internet being off. I'll catch back when the internet comes back and look at the second, third, fourth, and possibly fifth tape. We're just getting started. <laughs>